Well, all's quiet right now. It's okay. I like it. Temperatures around 60 in Omaha, even warmer off to our south. But if you live north of Omaha, it's chillier. I'll get to those temperatures in just a second. But when the kids are coming home this afternoon from Omaha into western Iowa, strong thunderstorms are possible after 3 o'clock. And these are going to be fast moving storms. With how, uh, how much strong wind we have in the atmosphere right now, they're going to push these storms very quickly, pretty much from south to north. Temperatures right now, 40s off to our north. 60s in the Omaha Metro, mid 60s down to our south. This is the significant split we're going to see this afternoon. I think temperatures in Omaha should be in the upper 60s, low 70s. We could be a little cooler than that if this warm front stays to our south. We could be much warmer than that if it slowly leaks to our north. A difference of 5 or 10 miles could mean 5 or 10 degrees with uh, temperatures this afternoon. If you live to our north, Norfolk, Tacoma, Dennis and Carroll, you guys will likely stay in the 40s and 50s, but to our south, Upper 70s and low 80s, anywhere south of the Omaha Metro. The front right now, pretty much right along Interstate 80, maybe just a little bit off to our south. Ahead of that front, showers and thunderstorms way to our north. We're watching for severe weather potential later this afternoon. The slight risk in yellow in Omaha, and it includes uh, locations right along the river in Nebraska. The enhanced risk in orange, what does that mean? Well, in the enhanced risk in southwest Iowa and northwest Missouri, that's where there's a better chance of seeing strong and severe thunderstorms with large hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes are possible, mainly in southwest Iowa. What will happen is thunderstorms fire up along a front across extreme eastern Nebraska and then strengthen quickly as they move into Iowa. As I mentioned, large hail, medium concern, damaging winds, especially with how fast they're moving. That's going to be a concern going into this afternoon. And there is the low tornado risk. Flash flooding? No, storms are going to be moving too quick for that. Take a look at Storm Predictor this afternoon. Stopping it at 3 o'clock. Could have a couple of light rain showers off to our north, but watch the thunderstorms fire up after 3 o'clock and continue to push into western Iowa this evening. So the window in Omaha between about 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. In Iowa between about 4 p.m and 8 p.m. And then we watch the snow wrap into our northwest. You can see temperatures already falling into the 30s in Norfolk there. Overnight, rain changes to snow, blizzard conditions already in places like Norfolk, Columbus, York, maybe even Tacoma. In Omaha, the rain changes to snow tomorrow morning, and we're going to have some strong winds around here, just not a lot of snow. And that's one of the things that you need for blizzard. That's why we have the blizzard warning in effect in Norfolk, in Stromsburg, in York right now. If you live in this winter storm watch, which does include places like uh, Fremont, Wahoo, Hooper, Tacoma, Denison, Carroll, that could get changed over to a blizzard warning or possibly a winter weather advisory, depending on how much snow we could see. But don't get too locked into snow totals. Three to six inches possible north and west of Omaha. Around Norfolk, there could be slightly higher totals. But it's all about the strong winds, creating the low visibilities and dangerous travels from Friday night all the way through Saturday evening. So it's a long duration event northwest of Omaha. Specifically in the metro, temperatures in the mid 30s tomorrow with winds gusting up to 50 miles an hour. Lingering snow showers, no accumulations early Sunday. And after a record low on Monday, we finally start that climb back into the 50s and 60s with quieter weather next week.